Why do we find out the rank of a matrix? What is the meaning of linear independency? What is the meaning of linear combination? So in this video we will try to understand all these things. Why do we find out the rank of a matrix? Because the inverse of a square matrix can be found out if and only if the columns of a square matrix are linearly independent. Linear independency in this case means any column of a matrix cannot be written as a linear combination of the other columns. Let's understand what does this mean. This is the matrix, 3x3 three by, three by three matrix, 3 uh, three rows and 3 columns. So we can see that here uh, the column 3 is just the uh, linear combination of the two columns. So for example, if uh, column 1 is multiplied by the column 2, it results into the third column. So in the next uh, example, that is the example 2, we have a 3 by 3 matrix. Here the first column is just the addition of the second and third column. So now we can say that the first column is a linear combination of the second and third column. So what is the meaning of uh, linear combination? We can uh, easily understand uh, what is the meaning of combination, but what is uh, what do we mean when we say that linear combination? So uh, what is linearity actually? Uh, linearity means the power of the variable is 1. Uh, for example, here x raised to the power 1 means uh, the power of uh, this variable is 1. If it is not written even then in that case uh, it is assumed to be uh, raised to the power 1 if 1 is not written here whether it is x or, raised to the, or x raised to the power 1 both are the same here x raised to the power 2 x raised to the power 3 x raised to the power n and here in this example the uh, x has means the variable has uh, come uh, has become uh, a denominator so in all these examples uh, only x raised to the power 1 uh, is linear but all these uh, variables uh, are not linear and their combination will also not be called linear combination because the power of these variables is not 1. It is x to the power 2, x raised to the power 3, x raised to the power n. So only x raised to the power 1 is linear. Now but linear dependence is not easily recognizable just by looking at the matrix as we did in the two examples above and it is difficult to understand also please see this thing in the next example that is the example 3 so here in the example 3 we have this matrix column x column y column z 3 by 3 matrix so can we say just by looking at this matrix that uh, uh, this is uh, this matrix is not linearly independent or it is linearly dependent uh, let's check it if we add minus 3 with minus 1 we will have minus 4 if we add minus 11 with minus 3 we will have minus 14 here so if we again if we multiply uh, second column by 2 means uh, minus 3 multiplied by 2 it becomes minus 6 and um, and we add with we add this uh, uh, minus 6 to minus 1 uh, we will have minus 6 uh, plus uh, minus 11 means minus 6 and minus 1 is minus 7 not uh, minus 11 so it is very difficult to find out the uh, linear uh, dependence or independence just by looking at the matrix so 
here I I know that there is a linear dependence uh, then what is the uh, uh, combination here the combination is that the third column has been found out by uh, multiplying column 1 by 2 and column 2 has been multiplied by 3 and then the result is added and it becomes minus 11 you see here the first column has been multiplied by 2 and the second column means column y has been multiplied by 3 so then when we add these together we have minus 11 for example minus 3 multiplied by 3 it becomes minus 9 and uh, column 1 multiplied by 2 so it becomes minus 2 minus 2 uh, and minus 9 when we add it becomes uh, minus 9 and minus 2 is minus 11 so likewise we have found uh, all these uh, elements of the third column here the third column z uh, has been uh, has been found out in this way this is why we find out the rank of a matrix to check whether the columns are linearly independent or not as it was said before the inverse of a square matrix can be found if and only if the column of a matrix are linearly independent otherwise we can't find the inverse of a matrix it is just because to find out the inverse of a matrix we want to know the rank of a matrix so how how the rank of a matrix is calculated uh, please see this in the next video